Now let's have a closer look at the floor and modulate operators. So we take 10 for example, and we're getting the floor of 2 from it. We're getting the amount of times the number 2 divides into 10. So 2 goes into 10 5 times. If we get 10 floor 3, we can see that 3 goes into 10 3 times. 10 floor 5 will get 2, and 10 floor 8 will get 1. Any number greater than 10 will get 0. Though if we look at the example of the modulo, if we went 10 modulo 2, we'll get 0. This is because 2 goes into 10 evenly. If we've got the example of 10 modulo 3, you can see we get 1. Now we had a look at 10 floor 3 again. We can see that it brings back 3. Now 3 goes into 10 3 times, which gives us 9. The remainder will be 1. So in this case, when we use the modulo function, we can think of it as returning the remainder from the amount of times 3 goes into 10. So if we looked at 10 floor 4, 4 goes into 10 twice, so 10 modulo 4 will give you 2, the remainder, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 take 8 is 2. So if we looked at 10 floor 5, you can see that we get 2, and if we looked at 10 modulo 5, we'll get back 0 because 5 goes into 10 evenly. If we looked at example 1 modulo 0 0.2, you can see that we get a strange number being 0 0.1999. In this case, you would think that you get back 0 because 0 0.2 goes into 1 evenly. Though, simply because of the way Python and a lot of programming languages deals with floating points, this does not work. I advise you to simply steer clear of floating points when using modulo for now. Also in the case of 1 modulo 5, or say 10 modulo 15, or 5 modulo 10, you can see that when you're using a modulo of a larger number, we're simply returning the original number. So to sum it up, the floor gives you the amount of times one number divides into a number, so, floor, so 15 floor 3 will give you 5, because 3 goes into 15 5 times. The modulo gives you the remainder, so we've done 12 modulo 5 will get back 2, because 5 times 2 is 10, and the remainder will be 2. And simply for now, avoid floating points when dealing with a modulo, and remember when using a modulo of a larger number, it will return the original number.